And tonight, another heartbreaking story. A young man going to buy his dream car with the money he was saving up, robbed and killed. Good evening, you're watching Late News Tonight. I'm Manana Rochita. Tonight, I spoke with his parents who say there were no red flags, that they were fully expected him to come walking in with a new set of keys and a big grin instead of winding up dead. I was just so happy and and wanted everybody to do well and um, just didn't have a mean bone in his body. Michael Lopretta just graduated Benicia High School this year and was working several jobs to get his dream car. He found it on offer up and planned to buy it in cash with the $7,000 he saved up. Uh, there was no reason to have any concern uh, when he went to go meet them. They, he, he, he knew to run the car fax, he ran the background, like he knew all these things. He told his parents he was meeting someone before noon in Fairfield. He talked to his dad when they met up. At 11, my last call with him was at 11.15 and he was excited. A few hours later, Fairfield police let them know Michael was shot and was found dead. His dad said he went to the neighborhood to talk to people and spoke to someone who called 911. They walked up and felt his hand and his, and his hand was cold. For some reason it was comforting, I don't really know why, but it was comforting that somebody was there with them for a period of time. His mom says she is still processing what happened. And, and every time the door has been opening, I, I still instinctively like look to see if it's him. His parents say he loved baseball, his family, and always wanted the best for everyone around him. Like just how incredibly proud of I, I am um, of that the, that the four of us raised this incredibly wonderful human.